We finally did it. We found a shark sleeping at the bottom of the ocean and we were astonished by the unpredictable way he reacted to our presence. Stay tuned until the end and you will be surprised by the story of this amazing shark. I love sharks and when I see them on the water, I swim towards these beautiful creatures, not away from them. If you're familiar with my channel, you're probably aware of my fascination with sharks. From the shipwrecks of the North Atlantic Ocean to the warm waters of the Caribbean, I'm always looking for opportunities to get up close and personal to experience firsthand their natural behavior and hunting skills. But I've never seen a shark sleeping. Actually, most sharks cannot sleep at all, otherwise they wouldn't be able to breathe. Needless to say, it is rare to see these apex predators taking a well-deserved nap in the middle of the afternoon. But we heard of a place where we can film sleeping sharks. And as soon as we did, we pack up and head south to Belize. Specifically, we visit the town of San Pedro, located off the mainland in Amber Grease Key. This will be our charming home for the next few days. We meet up with Leslie and Chino at Elite Belize Adventures, and off we go to find some sharks. As soon as we enter the water, we are greeted by the guardian of the reef. Belize is home to beautiful corals filled with marine life and year-round crystal clear warm waters. But we are here looking for sleeping sharks, a phenomenon most divers go a lifetime without witnessing. So I hope we get lucky today. We explore canyons where local sharks are known to occasionally come to rest. Suddenly, I cannot believe my eyes. We found a shark sleeping at the bottom of the reef. I am a little hesitant to spook a sleeping shark, so I work my way down very, very slow. Hey, wait a second. He really is noosing there. Just laying on the sand taking a siesta. This type of shark is called North Shark, and he has developed a bladder that pumps water through his gills so they don't have to swim all the time like other sharks. Pretty smart if you ask me. And despite my best efforts not to wake him up, he just did. How about just laying on the sand a little longer? Eventually he takes off and I am beyond excited about what I just witnessed. As we continue exploring the beautiful reef of San Pedro, our new friend decides to come back and check us out one more time. And he does another pass. And again, only this time he decided to bump his nose right on my chest. North sharks are generally not aggressive towards divers, but out of the 400 different species of shark, they rank fourth on bites to humans. So I'm getting a little apprehensive about this 9 foot shark getting a bit too close to the point he's bumping into me on purpose. I wonder what is going through his mind. He is staring at me in a very inquisitive way. It is almost like he wants to play. So he goes in circle like a dog playing on the park. 
Eventually, he had enough and moves on to do sharky things. And we go back to investigate the canyons and passages San Pedro is famous for. As we zigzag through them, I examine the colorful walls and look straight ahead at one of the most exhilarating sights a diver can have. Only this time, I got the message. All he wanted was some nose rubbing. Touching sharks or marine life has always been a sensitive topic in the diving community. As a general rule, divers are taught not to touch anything on the water. However, when the marine life initiates the interaction with the human and wants to be touched, then it's up to the diver to do so, following some simple rules and common sense. After spending few happy minutes together, we say goodbye to each other and I follow Leslie into a dark cavern that crosses this massive reef from end to end. Corals grow very slow, an average of an inch every year. So I am thrilled to be swimming inside a living, breathing coral reef formed many thousands of years ago. All I can wonder is, how cool it would have been to have a shot of my new friend coming through from the end of this tunnel. Alright, I am officially stunned. This dive just cannot get any better. Sharks are indeed apex predators. They are the guardians of the reefs, and have been for millions of years. But they are not human killing machines. They are smarter than we think, and who knows, they might even have feelings. Like our case here, our new friend seems to be fascinated with us, and far from being hostile towards me, he just wanted to be pet, like a dog would and so it is perfectly fine for me to show him some love. And he sure looks like he's enjoying every bit of it. This encounter taught me a lot of things. And I like to think that somewhere in the Caribbean, there is a shark who will forever have the good memory of hanging out with a very intriguing human and his cool camera. So this is it for today, I hope you enjoyed the video. So what do you think about sharks? Did today's story change how you perceive them? I would love to hear what you have to say, so leave us a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. Until next time, ciao.